evangelists, prophets, intercessors. Praise the Lord. I want you to raise your flag and say, praise Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let me see those flags of Kenya. Let me see those flags of Kenya. Thank you so much. I take this opportunity to thank the Almighty God for his goodness and his mercies that are new unto us every day. I take this opportunity to thank the clergy for being here today to pray for our nation. Like Apostle Subi said in the morning, we were at the 3 p.m. watch about a week ago when the Lord spoke to us about praying for rain, especially during this time. And I want to thank God because God had given us an opportunity to have the thanksgiving prayers in Nakuru on Sunday. And so that really gave us the authority to come here today to ask of God. And this morning, we have repented. We have asked God to be with us. And want to thank God the way everything has gone. I want to thank each one of you that took time to come here today for these prayers. I want to thank the many intercessors and the many bishops and pastors that have come from the counties. Let me see uh, the bishops and pastors that have come from the counties just by you raising up your hands. The ones that came from outside Nairobi. Watch out to Apigia Makofi. Thank you so much for traveling the many kilometers to come uh, to this solemn assembly. I know that the God that we have prayed in the city of Nairobi today is the God that has had our prayer here and has also had our prayers even in the counties because we know that actually uh, the counties have been affected very much because of this drought, especially the Asal areas. But we know that today we have prayed and we can see the clouds are formed and we know that the rains are coming. Just like uh, the clergy have said, go prepare your farms because the rains are coming. The Bible in the book of Psalms 33 verses 12 says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he chose for his inheritance. Today we want to thank God for the people of Kenya that have chosen God to be their God. We want to thank God for the leadership that God has given us, a leadership that cherishes God and loves God and loves the people of God. Because you can be a leader, but you may not even appreciate the people that God has given you. We want to thank God for this leadership that thinks about the, the, the bottom-up people, the people that are lowly, the people that are in the villages. We want to thank you, Your Excellency, and your deputy, and your leadership for thinking about the people of this great nation. I can tell you that our president thinks about you every day. God has given him a plan, great plans for this nation. And we know that even as the Church of Jesus Christ, as as intercessors, as we continue to pray for this presidency, God is going to help them so that they can fulfill their mandate that God has given them to be leaders in this nation. You know, today when we were praying for the plan, I remember the words in Proverbs chapter 16, verses 3, that says, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and you will establish your plans. We have a plan that uh, uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa has given us. I want to ask that we continue to pray for that plan, the dream of our president, so that the Lord can help them to be able uh, to fulfill uh, the, the promises that they have given to Kenya. Today we have prayed against um, covenants that are not kept. I pray this afternoon that the covenant and the promises that the president, his deputy, and his team have given us will not be a broken covenant, but this covenant shall be fulfilled even in our life and in our generation. Thank you so much once again. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord grant you the desires of your heart. Like um, uh, Dr. Lai was preaching, he says, people seated here today are going to be millionaires because the Lord is going to bless you. We pray that the Church of Jesus Christ shall continue to stand strong and especially the clergy, the intercessors, so that this nation can move forward. Let's continue praying for this government and I know that the Lord will continue to, to bless us. It is now my humble duty to invite the President of this great republic, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, to talk to us. Welcome, Your Excellency.
Asanteni sana. Tafadhali tuketi. Asanteni. Thank you very much.